Yeah, um, I was already told that they said, ask your mother if you can come the, to the Boston Tea Party, the Velvet Underground, or come and ask your mom and dad, because people, I, I knew people. <laughs> and Lou Reed was walking through Harvard Square the day before they were playing this fall afternoon. Oh, no, it would have been spring, actually. Spring of... No, no, this was... I'm sorry. It was either fall or spring. It was this, I think I remember it being fall. But I'm wrong. It had to be spring. Okay. It had to be spring. And uh, so they were about to play. It was been in April or so of 67, March or April of 67. And I was 16. And I recognized Lou Reed coming in maybe a brown corduroy sport coat, walking down the street with his guitar case. I said, excuse me, are you Lou Reed? He goes, yeah. I said, I've heard your record, and I love the sound you get. And he said, really? I said, yeah, for example, the way you use the guitars like a, they were drums. And he goes, wait a minute, are you saying using the guitars the rhythm guitar tracks as percussion instruments? I said, go, yeah. And he goes, well, that's what we do. And you heard that? I go, yeah, I could hear. He goes, oh. And so he told his people, you know, he told the people that were putting on the show who were people he knew, said, I met this 15-year-old precocious boy <laughs> in the street, you know. And uh, later I ran into them and told them that I'd met Lou. And they said, and, I, and they said, were you that boy? I said, you mean the one who asked him the questions about music? And he said, yeah. I said, sure, that was me. He said, oh. So um, I was in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you said the right thing. Without trying. Wow. I mean, I said, I could have said other right things. But they grasped that how seriously I took the music, and I did. It was life or death serious. Yeah. As it still is for me. If music isn't life or death serious, don't want to do it.